What is up, everybody? My name is Commander. Welcome back to another episode of Art Survival Evolved. So today, we're going to tame eels. Why are we taming eels? Well, I kind of got a hankering to tame one after all the trouble they gave us in the last video. Uh, on top of that, well, you know, they're kind of hard to tame. I uh, watched a few videos. They look really like they're hard to tame. And if anybody can do it, I can do it. So, yeah. All right, guys. So the first thing you're going to need is a basilosaur. Why do you need a basilosaur? Well, because they're absolutely immune to electricity. So if you haven't tamed a basilosaur yet, go tame a basilosaur. If you don't know how to go tame a basilosaur, uh, we'll cover that in another video. But right now, we got a basilosaur, and we have found our first set of targets here. These are some eels. We had to go pretty far away for these guys, and we're going to take them all the way back to a little structure I've got built. It's a cage. It's not going to work out, actually. So, guys... It's not important whether or not you get the bat to a cage, but whether or not you get to a safe zone to work with them. As anything could attack you, such as an Alpha Megalodon. What a coincidence he shows up when I'm in the middle of taming something, right? Point is, you're generally just looking for some safe place to do your taming. Preferably shallow water, that way they have less movability, and at the same time, you're not going to get attacked by someone, which most might see as a manta or two. Uh, cage is not necessarily going to work out. You might be able to work a cage out, but my cage absolutely failed. So I'd like to point out, eels will track you for a very, very long time. Uh, especially since the basilosaur isn't necessarily the fastest, and you can let them kind of bite at you and attack you, and basically you won't feel it, especially once you hit the surface. Um, They'll track you for a very, very long time. And you can see this cage I've got built here. Unfortunately, this cage by no means was built correctly. Uh, they climbed over the walls. They were able to actually swim right through the sides. And one very important thing is when you dismount your bass slow, make sure you don't leave him on neutral and that you put him on passive. Now, I'd like to point out this quickly moved to an outside of the cage team. And what I would say is you need to be very, very careful. You're going to destroy your armor. Uh, if you have a buddy that can be a shock buddy, use him as a shock buddy. Someone who's not worried about dying. Uh, because I have nobody to work with me, I'm using basketball. And the other thing I have to suggest is do one heal at a time. Uh, you do more than one heal, you're asking to get shot multiple times, possibly die. You can time it pretty easy with just one though. And so what you'll do is you'll have your Baslo take the hits and with Neurotoxin, which is their kibble, you will basically try and beat them with it. Yeah, I quickly found it because I realized he was going to have his shock ability going. And now I'm trying to get to the eel. It's hard to get to the eel, but there you go. He got stuck and I got him. And he's going to make different passes. And basically, you're going to spam that E button until it feeds it the first time. And then you need to wait about two minutes or so to feed him the next one. As you can see, I can't feed him. Now to the first feeding, it's actually pretty easy. After you feed him the very first time, all you have to do is basically hop on anytime he's gonna shock, and then hop off when he's not shocked. What you'll find is, once he's done his first feeding and you can feed him the second time finally, his intervals become much, much quicker, and you can quickly spam that food in. So right now, you see I spammed it in, and I'm gonna hop on, I'm gonna let him shock again. See, I actually didn't even hit the guy on that one, but I'm going to go ahead and do this round. And so he got fed that round. And here it is in a second. We're going to go ahead and hop off and do shots again. And it's hard not to jump off when he's shot because he's so close right to you, but you don't do that unless he's not shocking. And so now we're going to go ahead and tame him, and there you go. Tame like that. So one thing I wanted to point out is that this guy that I tamed was a level 35. This was not a 150. He was much, much weaker. Couldn't do as much damage. Your Basilo will, will, of course, have the healer regen and the saddle, so it should be safe from any injury that it takes. But you, on the other hand, may not be. And if you're not safe enough from the injuries, you could very well die. That's why I say have that shock buddy with you who, who's willing to run in there, get the thing to shock, or use the Basilo and just be very, very careful. One last thing, it is very possible to breed these guys. So after you tame two of these, let's just say you don't want to go tame any more of these guys. These are too much of a hassle for you. Well, feel free to breed them. Uh, they will lay an egg. You will not be able to pick up their egg, though, as it is a water animal. And you'll have to grow that water animal right there. So even a cage in this case might be a good idea for those babies. 
just so you can keep them safe being in the water. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I know I did. I actually had a lot of fun. I learned something with this one. Uh, two things, actually. One is that you need to do this in shallow water, and you don't need a cage for these guys to tame them. You just need to go ahead, get a basil sword, go down there, attract them, and bring them out to shallow water where it's much safer to tame versus trying to do it down in the deep. Uh, the second thing I learned is if you're going to do it in shallow water, uh, make sure you shoot down the Ithnornises because they will steal your Neurotoxin and then you won't be able to tame your guy. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Y'all take care, and I'll catch you next time.